So I have this uh, property address that I get through my leads that's on one line and I use it for Google Maps, the Maps field in Podio. And unfortunately there's many times where I need to have the individual pieces in separate fields so I can say send send letters or do other lookups based off information and also do some reporting. Uh, that's tough to do because no matter how bad you try you'll never be able to consistently and correctly pull the street address the city, the state, the zip, and the country uh, just because there's so many different variations. Now one way I've found to do this is to use the Google Maps API which you can send in a string address and it will return what is called a JSON file. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So, And then, well, you can return to JSON file and then you can pull out the different pieces of the address location information and put them into fields. It's sort of a three-step process, so uh, let me get into it and show you how to do it. So I have on another app my workups app. Let's go into the template. I have these fields all the way at the bottom. I have a street number, street, neighborhood, city, or county, state, country, postal code, postal code, suffix, longitude, and latitude. That's the information you can pull from the JSON file. And this is the field for the JSON file. Let me show you that, what it looks like. So we'll take this address, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you can see that this is the information that you pull from the Google API. This is called JSON string or JSON file. And the result, you have this, the long name for the type is the street number, the route which is the, the street, the neighborhood which is the city, the location, actually the neighborhood is like the section, like the subsection of the city. In Hanover Township there's Cedar Knolls and Whippany. Uh, so that's the town, the city, this is the county, and state, country, zip code, and you can also have like the the suffix for the zip code which is like the four, the plus four, and then zip code plus four. So uh, oh, here's the longitude and latitude also. So let me show you how to pull this from using Globiflow. So I create a a Globiflow that is triggered off of the creation of that record The work up edit and then I use a capture result of a remote post or get so in Globy flow that would be all the way at the bottom this remote post get action and then I just this is the address that you the API address that you'll send to or make the request to and then the parameter you'll use is address equals and then what the property address is, so what I have in the maps field back over here, that right there. So now this request, where is that? This request is made and then I, when I do a field update, it, well the request is made, it gets put into this address JSON uh, variable and then 